went to the bank and got a box of pennies. Huh? So we're gonna go ahead, open it up, see if we have any enders, and then we'll get right into the box. So first of all, they uh, glued it wrong. You can see that it says pennies underneath, so they put the the bottom one on top. That doesn't matter, but uh, kind of interesting. So box is open. And let's take the first look. And I'm not seeing anything that stands out. This is 60s. Um, but other than that, yeah, nothing else. The rules are a little uneven. Should be 50 in here, I'll have to count. But um, let's go ahead and start on our first roll. First weed of the box comes on our sixth roll. It's a 1956 Denver. So uh, that's one wheat. And we did get a 1957 Canadian. Nice young head. Pretty cool to find that. That was the previous roll. Um, so we'll go ahead and check the rest of these. And so far not seen anything uh, worth saving. So I think that's gonna be it. So um, on to our next roll. Couple rolls later, and here's our second wheat. It is a 1946. Looks like it came out of the ground, or was in the ground at one point. A little, little beat up. So uh, go ahead and check the rest of these. See if we have anything else. Off the top, don't see anything else I'm gonna save, so we're gonna go into our next roll. Well, just pulled out the next roll, and you can see there's a wheat ender. I started peeling it, and I took a look, and I saw there was a wheat ender. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and just open it now. On camera, since you can see that there's a wheat there. All right, still in there. There it is, right at the end. Let's see what it is. 1955 Denver. That makes three wheats. And what else is in this roll? Uh, it doesn't look like there's gonna be anything else. So um, pretty cool to get a, a wheat ender on the other side of the roll. Uh, so, not seeing anything else, and let's get into our next roll in. Alright, a couple rolls later, and I can see some wheat stocks right here. So, let's see what it is. 1946 Denver. That makes four. And what? I have a friend in here. Usually, we've only been uh, one wheat per, uh, per roll, and haven't really been finding too many. Uh, double, double rolls with two or more wheats in them. So, uh, yeah, don't see anything else in there. So we're getting near the half point mark, and we're going to get into our next roll. Just went through roll number 25, uh, sort of reorganized them, and we have 25 left, but, uh, you can see some wheat stocks. Uh, this will make, this 1958 Denver makes five, uh, at halfway through the box, so... Halfway to, to our average, well, I'd say last year's average this year in 1959 Denver. Uh, last year's average is around 10. This year it's a little bit higher since we've only done one box. Um, so it'll get lowered a little bit, I'm assuming. So don't see anything else. And let's get into our next roll. All right, 18 rolls left. And here's our sixth tweet. It's a 1949 plane. Pretty cool, and like I said, not usually two in a roll, and that's gonna be the case with this roll as well. So, I'll look, but not seeing anything so far. Yeah, there's, there's not gonna be anything else in here. So, let's get into 
the next roll. 16 rolls left. There's number seven. 1946 Denver. That might be our, I think that's our second. No, third 1946. I get a lot of 1946. Really common. Um, that's always the, the wheat of choice from the boxes, the 1946. Mm. Well, looking through these, we're not seeing anything else. So, let's get into, I think this will be roll number 35. Well, just poured out roll number 36, and look at that. Not even sure what this is. It's a, clearly, uh, you can see the the memorial in the back. So it is a, a Lincoln scent. Oh, wow, just a 1998 Denver. Just uh, someone, someone did that to it. Kind of cool, I'll save it. Uh, got a Canadian uh, roll before, a 19... 94 and haven't fa uh, fanned this roll out a bit damage there so I don't know if there's anything else in here but I don't think there's gonna be a leak so yeah not seeing not seeing any so pretty cool someone might have been doing a you know a science experiment to uh, get the zinc exposed so you could you know maybe make a battery out of it or maybe someone just wanted to Mess around with the penny and do that. Kind of cool. I like how shiny it is. So, let's get into our next roll. All right, box is empty, but we have our, our last roll. So, uh, we're gonna set it up. And you can see all the papers in the background. And we're gonna open up our, our final roll of the box. So we're sitting right now at seven weeks. Um, so, unless this roll can Produce something, it's gonna be below the the regular average. Let's go ahead. Oh, there we go. We will we will at least get eight. Here's a 1957 Denver. Look at that. Pretty cool. Live uh live wheat. So we had a one live on camera, and then we had another wheat that was a an ender. So that's pretty cool. That makes number eight. Um, and then we'll fan the rest of these out. We'll take a close look at them so we can uh, just go right into our, our wrap up of the box after. Uh, some 60s, 62, 67. But I think I think we're gonna I think we're gonna stay at eight, which isn't bad. Um, it's actually fairly decent. So um, nothing else in that roll. So box. This is our um, our second box of the year. Um, first box. First box was pretty good. We had a I think it was 14 wheats out of that box, and the first wheat of the year was a 1942. So I'm happy with eight. That's um, still pretty good. Our average just is uh, a little lower now. Um, but uh, hopefully, there's a, a, I have a really big corner hunt coming up, and uh, I think that's gonna uh, bump up our, our wheat average. Uh, you'll see that video coming up very soon. Uh, within, the next, within the week, I'd, I'd assume. So um, let's go right into our, our wrap up of uh, what we found. So let's start off with our Canadians. We had a 1994 and a 1957 Younghead. Uh, really cool, nice old one. And actually it's a, a very uh, small amount of wheats for this box or for any box. I usually find about four or five. So two is um, two's not that many. So it's kind of kind of fun to find not that many because I know I'm not losing any money, but still like to find them like that one. Uh, we had this one that someone sanded, left a little bit of the copper in the middle, and then the front, same sort of thing, kind of got sanded. Maybe they held it down while they sanded this part off, some, so the front kind of sanded itself down. And we had eight wheats, so 
We had a 1946 Denver, 1949 Plain, 1958 Denver, uh, 1946 Plain, 1946 Denver, 1957 Denver, 1955 Denver. I think this was our Ender. Yeah, pretty sure that one was the Ender. And uh, 1956 Denver. So overall, I'd say a good second box to start the start year 2020. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.